welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ark it youtube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel i love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ark it youtube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address a ravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below proxmox virtual environment complete codes so we are going to dive into the complete codes so exactly what is proxmox virtual environment so it is a open source virtualization environment you can run vms as well as container so that is the beauty of the proxmox virtual environment so you can run virtual machines as well as the containers single web based interface so you can manage the entire infrastructure from the single web based infrastructure and it holds the high availability cluster manager so you can set up multiple servers and you can enable the availability on this and you can also have the cluster enabled so that what happens you can migrate the virtual machines from one physical host to the another physical host and you can shuffle the uh, containers in between the resources so that's the major uh, feature available on this proxmox virtual environment built-in services like firewall and there is no external backup application is required to backup your containers or the virtual machines so it has the inbuilt backup and restore feature you can attach the additional storage to that virtual environment and you can backup over there storage and replication feature so if you wanted to replicate your data from one uh, host to the another host so that you can just simply migrate your um, virtual machines or the containers from one host to the another host without having any delay so if it is a huge virtual machine example you have three four terabytes of data you wanted to migrate that to the another host so if you already enable the replication you can just simply say migrate then it will migrate the virtual machines in few seconds enterprise level support feature so you can subscribe to the uh, proxmax if you ha if you want support you can subscribe and uh, subscribe to our by the support for monthly or yearly whatever it is so you will get the uh, support but if if you don't want any support you want to manage in your own so it is entirely free open source application a uh, wide range of support options uh, like the storage options example sifs nfs jfs iscsi lvm and chef fs etc so rest api support for automation stuff you can call the rest api and role based administration access so example uh, you can define the roles and uh, assign the roles to the users of the groups so you'll get the access to the users so in this course what you are going to learn so it is a course content this is already prepared so this is the last video i'm uh, creating in this course so which is the introduction to the proxmox virtual environments the current video you are uh, listening to and uh, what is the difference between the proxmox virtual environment and the esxi the vmware esxi uh, setting up the lab so here you don't need to buy any physical machines uh, so i am going to have tell you the trick how you can install this lab on your 
VMware workstation so that you can work it as a your lab setup and installation of the uh, Proxmox virtual environment web console overview creating the users and providing the access so that you can create multiple users and provide them the read only access or admin access or the storage admin access whatever it is and enabling the multi-factor authentication so example how you can enable the multi-factor authentication to secure your authorization and authentication and creating the vms creating vm templates creating containers creating container templates working with cli so that it has a great future uh, the great cli version so whatever you are doing from the web console you can everything you can do it from the cli understanding the snapshots and you can take the snapshots and back up the vms and the containers how you can back it up and restore them when there is a disaster how we can do that and shared storage how you can assign the shared storage mounting the shared storage on the multiple virtual the environment virtual environment are the physical servers and move your uh, vms and the containers in between the multiple host and self storage how we can enable the self storage and uh, networking stuff and uh, enabling and joining the cluster multiple host to the cluster and enabling the ha environment and the configuration of the ha environment and how ha works example so if the host goes down how the ha works so that would be a great demo purpose uh, in this course and jfs replication so how we can enable the jfs pool replication uh, so how that helps in your virtual virtual machines migrations or the containers migrations uh, firewall rules so you can define your own firewall rules so this is firewall rules can be defined on the objects example you can define on the uh, data center level or the physical host level as well as the containers levels as well as the virtual machines level so that's the granular permissions you can are the uh, firewall rules you can write it over here so that's one more thing so here in this course um, assumptions so example say that you are already a, a tech person like uh, you are already know what is a virtualization means so in this there are not to be a too much of basics or the theoretical knowledge because that is already uh, we are assuming that you are already a person you already know the virtualization maybe you already know the linux or the little bits of the basics of the linux uh, maybe you and already know computer hardware basics little about what is ram what is cpu and uh, how this uh, computer basically works um, so little basic information about the vmware workstation like how to create the virtual machines and the assigning the network stuff all this stuff and uh, a little bit about the containers and the storage and networking side so these are all the assumptions that you already know little bit basics all of this stuff um, if you do not know anything about that so that's not a problem but if you have a basic idea on those topics that would be added advantage for you so let's see what you required to example set up your lab environment so 64 bit cpu required and uh, fully virtualization support example the cpu should support full virtualization so it it may be intel or amd whatever the cpu you have uh, it should be virtualization enabled and minimum 8 gb of ram you should have so that uh, you can install the uh, virtual environment top of that you can deploy the guest vms or the guest containers uh, uh, so those also require some ram and hard drive so maybe if if you have 250 gb of uh, hard drive or the 100 gb in between so that would be fine uh, network interface card so that not a problem so anyway if you have the uh, hardware network so network interface card should be exit uh, and cd dvd burner or usb thumb drive in case if you want to uh, write your ISO file to the uh, USB thumb drive and install on the physical machine so this is required but if you are going to set up your environment on the virtuali in virtualization environment so it was not required in the CVD burner or the 
USB thumb drive uh, we can directly attach the ISO and install it a uh, note okay so there is a note is that in this video series I'm going to use the VMware workstation instead of physical server this method strictly not recommended for production deployment so uh, this is a demo purpose the VMware workstation I'm using so but uh, if you want to deploy the similar way for the production so you have to use the bare metal server or the physical server to install the uh, Proxmox virtual environment so what is the software requirement you need to have so you have to download the uh, virtual environment the ISO file from the website uh, Proxmox you can visit this site Proxmox uh, English uh, en slash download slash category Proxmox virtual environment okay and you need a web browser uh, example any web browser should work but uh, I you have little um, icon differentiation or the not the resolution is perfect but you can use uh, Firefox Chrome or Opera so that it, it works well and OS images example like the Linux and Windows if uh, so for the guest OS installations and container images can be downloaded from the repo but if you have the any custom container images so you have to upload them to the um, after installing the Proxmox you can upload them to the containers list then you can spin up the container your custom container internet connection is required of course you need internet connectivity to download and update the packages or the upgrade the packages uh, which are exist already so that's uh, about the introduction to the this code so let's get started and uh, do that so how we can install and configure the Proxmox virtual environment. For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications.